Hello guys, it's Nurul DJ here and today we are going to see about a simple concept that is the in-display fingerprint technology. Yes, I have to post this video around one year back because this is a world concept, right? But today I'm going to give a depth review of them. So I have tested the optical in A50 and also ultrasonic in the S10 Plus in the showroom. So my idea is towards that as everyone is thinking that the in-display fingerprint sensor option is a premium category option. So like only phones that are above 20,000 rupees, 30,000 rupees should only adapt this. If someone come and adapt them, then they should have compromised something in the performance or something in the build. Not like that. Actually, they compromise the fingerprint sensor itself when they go to optical one. Yeah, the in-display technology with the optical category. There are two categories. There are two types of fingerprint sensor that is used in display. That's our one is optical and ultrasonic. Ultrasonic was brought by Samsung in their S10 and S10 Plus series. You guys all know that. Okay, and that's a little bit expensive and they are much accurate because they use 3D optics. They uh, just use sound waves to actually ripple towards our fingers and captures the ridges, pores, every details of our fingers. So that's really a good option, ultrasonic. But optical sensor is really similar to the biometrics we used to keep in our schools, workplace. We just keep biometrics to actually put our attendance in it. Like the same uh, biometric machine, we are using it on our phone. You see the green light, okay? That's the reality of the optical sensor. There are several advantages and disadvantages of optical ones. Coming to the ultrasonic ones, you get accuracy a lot and it was made by Qualcomm and Qualcomm stating that you can do multifunctional things using that. Like you can read your heart rate, it can read your heart rate, oxygen level and also used for uh, a motion control. Likewise, they are saying in future they may bring that in the technology. But optical can only capture the fingerprint. Maybe some brands are also trying to bring the heart rate uh, recognition. So optical also has its own advantages. They are fast, a little bit fast. They are uh, like a futuristic feel. They may give you a futuristic feel like you are using that. But in my concern, if you buy such though, it doesn't feel like anything else. I am really bored of the industry fingerprint sensor. The right the day I bought this phone. So it's nothing, okay? So it is really better to have a conventional one like the rear one or the side one. It is really better because they are fast, they are accurate, they are actually unlocks most of the time where ultrasonic, if like the optical sensor, even your fingers a little bit wet, they won't accept. So this is the concern I have to do. And the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, even if you dip your fingers in the grease, and do you know how density, how dense is the grease? So if you just put it, it will unlock actually. So it's really a good concept. So the sound waves can penetrate towards any a little bit objects. So they are using that concept to actually use scanning the fingerprint. That they are really safe, accurate, and also you can use multifunctional things like what Qualcomm states. But optical fingerprint sensor was bought by Vivo and actually now even Samsung, Huawei, OnePlus has using this technology and we have to have the mind in that is the rear facing fingerprint sensor, conventional fingerprint sensor, the side fingerprint sensor are really a cost effective one. The optical fingerprint sensor is inexpensive. I mean the in-display fingerprint sensor is just a piece of a little bit camera the front facing camera you could see it's really tinier than that it's like a camera module they use under the display so the expense is calculated and according to reports they are saying that the in-display fingerprint sensor that is based on optics is actually cheaper than the conventional fingerprint sensor that we get at the back side and everything so brands are really cheating us i was really thinking that Comparing the Samsung Galaxy A30 and A50, A30, A50 has a better processor, it has additional rear-facing camera in it and also this in-display technology, or, okay, we can accept. But uh, upgrading to a processor like this, like from 7904 to 9610 and also on camera indeed, just took 3000 rupees. 
I didn't uh, accept that one. So what I did is I researched and I thought that the fingerprint sensor may be uh, compromised. So the rear facing fingerprint sensor uh, will be a little bit expensive like they cost around uh, 300 to 500 per piece but the in display costs just only 200 to 300 or something else. So in bulk orders they can surely make some profit in it. So they did like that so but we are just thinking that that's a futuristic option so we are using that but that is one thing to note they also give some kind of advantages most of the uh, budget brands like redmi realme actually they was running with an ips stream right but uh, even now realme x is launched and we guys can, uh, can could know that they use in display fingerprint technology so they want they should use the amoled display so we get deeper blacks good color contrast accurate colors or something so i'm really happy that this one actually uh, forces the brands to use AMOLED display rather than the IPS one because we are not affordable to buy such a OLED TVs and experience the deep blacks but at least we should experience them in a small handset like this so if budget brands like Redmi and Realme was fighting like that and bringing the AMOLED displays to their budget category it will be really a useful one so I wish that could happen because of this strange thing but ultrasonic fingerprint sensor is totally different. They use 3D, they capture ridges and pores of your fingers. They are really accurate. They do multifunctional things and everything. So they are a bit expensive. Like what Samsung does with the S10 and S10 Plus. No other brands, even OnePlus 7 Pro is in the category above 45,000, 48,000 is the starting variant of their phone. And they didn't bring that ultrasonic. But they have a good display. That, uh, that's an, another category we have to talk about it later but the fingerprint sensor they did it the Huawei P30 Pro is priced at 70,000 rupees and they still use optical one so see it's really a bit expensive but the optical one is really 2d and they are not much good as the conventional one so think that in the mind have that in your mind so that you can go and while purchasing your new smartphone decide whether what to choose I think you can better buy the optical one if you're not regarding any secureness I don't want everything I just want uh, the futuristic feel but uh, if I bought a smartphone I should get the full futuristic feel that I am using this the same way we have to do so if you think like that it will be a good option to choose the optical one or the in display uh, technology with optical variant if you want more uh, more secureness uh, no they can easily spoof the optical one so i don't want that still go for the conventional one they are still good actually so i am using lg v30 for around one one years above one years and still the fingerprint sensor in lg v30 is really great even the video is recorded using lg v30 so i can't show that on the screen so this is the a50 this optical fingerprint sensor really makes me a bit uh, bored so they are not much futuristic looks like futuristic but not much accurate doesn't unlock most of the times like what my lg v30 does so it is really best my consideration is conventional is good or you have to directly go for the ultrasonic one i think within one year or two years we will get the ultrasonic one in a cheaper manner samsung and qualcomm should quite do that because have to get it unless this optical one is really easy to spoof they are a bit crying and even one con to be said of the optical one is actually according to reports a report says that using the in display fingerprint sensor for one day around 200 to 300 times it is really make uh, prone we are prone to get the burnings on the amoled panel and i was really shocked because amoled displays are said to work for around three to four years without any kind of burnings but using the fingerprint sensor, that industry fingerprint sensor, we get burn-ins sooner. Like within 8 to 9 months, we may see if you just screen the white image on the whole screen or any kind of color, you can note that the green color would have some oil shaded off. And uh, luckily they did that with the green color other than blue because AMOLED and OLED displays are very prone to the blue color. They lose the blue color soon as within 4 years you can see the blue colors vanish off from the AMOLED display. So 
at least they brought the green color one but still there are several reports saying that due to this optical fingerprint sensor that many there are many kind of burns can be found around the fingerprint sensor placement so it's what happening but ultra sunning doesn't does that and the conventional is going to be at the back and side they are not going to affect the display at all so choose according to yours and thanks for watching guys this is the end this is the technology you have to choose which one to adapt you and in another video i will explain about the display technologies according to the smartphones in 2019 so we can see how they are opposing each other okay subscribe to the channel click the bell icon also to get daily updates from the channel so thanks for watching see you later goodbye guys